Yerp. What is good, y'all? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys, man. Damn, they just ran the red light. Hopefully they don't. <laughs> but anyway, um, jumping straight into this banger, man. I know your boy's been MIA, you know what I'm saying? I haven't really been dropping consistently. Um, we all know this. It's definitely the elephant in the room. You know what I'm saying? And that being said, I don't want to sound like a broken record and tell you guys that I'm back and tell you guys, you know, that, you know what I mean? I'm trying to be more consistent. Whoop -de -whoop. At the end of the day, you guys already know I'm trying my best. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, you guys already know that when I upload a video, it's a video that, you know what I'm saying, I feel like it's beneficial for y'all to see. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna be no filler vlog. Ooh, them boys out. Them boys is out. Oh, nah, he's got a flat tire. Never mind. Um, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna upload a video that I believe is entertaining and something that you guys would wanna watch. I don't wanna upload any filler videos, man. So that being said, you know, we're working on getting back on that consistency train and uh, getting back to these fire vlogs, man. I miss modifying the car. I miss taking it out to the track and getting runs in. I miss going to Mexico, getting 61, 30 times in. Like, I miss it all, I really do, you know what I mean? But I just been busy. Um, but anyway, enough of me rambling, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into today's topic. Side note, how do you guys feel about these new Toyota Tundras? I don't know, man. I can't hold you, I can't hold you. The TRD is really starting to talk to me. You dig what I'm saying? But anyway, let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into this. loose or I just be playing music too loud to where I can never hear it 
but I was riding around um, the other day, no music playing, just, you know, me and my thoughts, man, you know, and just really, like, thinking, and, you know, plotting on the next move, you know, what are we gonna do next for the channel, what are we gonna do next for the build, like, just, you know, plotting, and, man, all of a sudden, you know, I go over a little bump, and I just hear this nasty rattle sound, bro, and when I say nasty, bro, I mean nasty, like, really and truly, even worse than my Stanley Cup. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but it's been doing that the entire drive. But anyway, it's even worse than that. It sounds like something is completely loose and terrible in there. Um, and I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, it's gonna be my sway bar end links. So today I do wanna take those off. And I just wanna also, you know, get the car in the air and just check my oil pan bolts while I'm doing that oil change. Um, because if you guys are familiar with when I very first picked this car up, um, those oil pan bolts were actually starting to back out of the oil pan out of the block. So that being said, I was having a little bit of an oil leak where the oil was seeping through the oil pan and leaking through the oil pan bolts because they weren't tight. So I wanna double check that, make sure that they're still tight and they didn't start backing out again. Um, that being said, my 6th gen owners, I can't stress this enough. Check your oil pan bolts. I can't stress this enough, man. It is a very common issue. It is a GM flaw. You know what I'm saying? It's an aluminum pan with aluminum bolts. This is what happens. <laughs> this, is, this is what happens, bro. So, that being said, you guys, definitely, definitely, definitely recommend checking those oil pan bolts. Every other oil change, you don't got to do it every oil change. You don't got to just raise the car up solely just to check those bolts. Just while you're under there, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and just knock it out real quick. That way you got that peace of mind and you know you're not losing oil. Also, also, if you guys haven't already, get an oil catch can. These LT1 motors, man, they're they're very notorious for oil blow-by. You don't want that going back into your intake manifold. You want to trap that. So make sure you get an oil catch can and you're draining the oil catch can whenever you do your oil changes. I went ahead and I took my oil catch can off and just checked it to see how full it was. And sure enough, I'm not going to lie, the oil catch can was more than halfway full, literally. And I, ch I literally check that oil catch can every oil change. So that just lets you know how much oil is really being sent back into your intake manifold, bro. You really do not want that. You really do not want that. So that being said, if you haven't already, bro, invest in an oil catch can. You can get the Mighty Mouse. You can get the JLT like I got. I'm not going to lie. Just get you one for sure. But anyway, I also want to go ahead and just, you know, check around everything. I've already done a coolant flush on the car, did that off camera. Um, so we've got the coolant flush taken care of. I do need to take a look at my differential fluid because as you guys can see, we're at 44,000 miles. Um, I did my differential fluid change at 20,000 miles and I like that 20,000 mile interval. So I do want to just check my fluid, see what it's looking like. Um, you know, these ELSDs that come in the 1LEs and the ZL1s, they're notorious for having metal shavings floating around in there, bro. So you want to consistently change that fluid in order to make sure that those gears are getting the lubrication that they need. So that being said, y'all, I definitely also want to just take a look at that you know, see what that fluid is looking like. I'm just gonna take the the drain bolt off, take a look at it, see how much metal has, you know, attached to that magnet and just see how bad it looks. If it's looking real, real terrible, then I'm gonna go ahead and get some fluid ordered and I'm gonna do a swap on that too. Now, all that being said, you guys, I'm on the way to the J. As soon as I get there and I get the car pulled in, get it in the air, I'll go ahead and resume this vlog. But until then, 
enjoy this footage from a video that I was gonna drop on Friday, but I just didn't feel like it was good enough to be its own video. Um, but anyway, nevertheless, I was driving the car, vlogging, um, shooting the video, and a Mustang pulls up on me. So y'all enjoy that footage while I go, you know what I'm saying, start my day at work, and then we'll regroup when it's time to get this oil change going on Vader. Let's get it. And that's just the honest truth, bro. And it's solely because, to be honest with y'all, I don't even know what color the 1LE wheels are, bro. Like, for real, for real. They look like a gunmetal gray, but then they've got, like, this purple hue to them. So it's like, I really don't know. You got a Mustang pulling up on me. <laughs> what you trying to do, bro? Trying to do, bruh. I'm just be pulling up on me, making all that noise. What you trying to do? Come on. Come on. Come on, bruh. trying to do no don't run come on now what is that what is that what are you trying to do bro Try it, bro. Don't even, don't even try that shit with me, bro. I ain't the one. You are gonna be hurt. Don't even try that shit, bro. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at me. I'm in six gear, bro. I'm in six gear, bro. I'm in six gear, bro. Come on, man. Yo, shit too slow. Come on, man. They can see it way too slow. Fuck it with me, man. Come on. Many unbearable hours later. Yes, yeah, Sersky. Yes, yeah, Sersky. Y'all see that car been dancing, man. Woo! That joint sounds so good, man. Let's go ahead and get this oil changed, man. No cap, no cap. Oh my god, all the carbon just dancing. The car is filthy right now, I know, I know. Well, this is probably what's been flapping this whole time and I'm thinking that it's no nah, it's I think it's these still I'm gonna end up taking it I'm gonna take these off too but I'm gonna realign that and then I knew it 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 if you guys can see in there let me grab a flashlight so as you guys can see man this is what I was talking about this morning this bolt is starting to back out it's a little loose that one looks dry that one is dry. That one's got a little bit of build up. Yeah. So what I'm going to do after this oil change is I'm just going to go through and tighten down all the bolts that I can. And we'll go from there, man. Yeah. Typical 6th gen issue, bro. Typical. All right, y'all. So excuse the loud shop fan if y'all can hear it. But I wanted to show y'all. You need to have an Allen key to hold the stud and then a ratchet or a wrench, I mean, to turn the bolt, to get the sway bar end link off. You guys were ever wondering. Um, oil change is done. And all 
all cleaned up and everything. Everything is tightened up, all the bolts are tightened up. And um, honestly, I think what I'm gonna end up doing is dropping the oil pan itself and putting a Loctite on all of the bolts and then re-tightening them. So what I'm about to do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and take this sway bar and link off on both sides and we should be good to put the wheels back on and fill it up with oil. All right, y'all, so this is what I was talking about when I said you need an alley key to hold the stud and then a wrench to get the bolt off for your sway bar in links. It's like this on the sway bar itself as well, bruh. Thank you, Chevy, huh? So now that you get this off, couple more threads, you feel me? You can just slide that completely out. Of course, your boy got the zip tie. Zip tie king over here, brother. Zip tie king, brother. Okay? But that's how you get that sway bar end link out, all right? You're gonna need an Allen key, and you're gonna need an 18 millimeter wrench. The Allen key, for those of you who are wondering, is a six, and that's how you do it, brother. Now I'm just gonna snip, snip that zip tie, and uh, we're good to freaking go, buddy. Oh, this is always the last step of my oil changes, bro. I always take off the oil catch can and drain it. And I ain't gonna lie, this is still a good amount of oil. I literally drained this, I wanna say, two weeks ago. And look how much is built up already. Yeah. And don't work, mind, like, the little brown stuff on the threads. That's to help it, like, not seize up on me when I go to remove it. But I'm about to dump this out, put it back on. Reset the light, man, and we're good to go with maintenance, brothers. I was supposed to check the differential, but I'm gonna do that on another day, cause I got work to do. One hour later. Yeah. All right, you guys, so as y'all can see, we are currently in Vader right now. Um, All changes done. Uh, sway bar end links have been removed. Unfortunately, though, I'm still getting that rattle but fortunately, I think I know what the rattle is. Um, as you guys may or may not know, like I touched on in the beginning of this video, I did remove the sway bar and I removed the under tray. However, the under tray is a two piece style under tray where there is a plastic variant that is directly connected to the bumper and then it ends up connecting to the metal undercarriage that I did take off. Now, I'm pretty sure that since it's loose on the end where it's supposed to connect to the metal part of the entire assembly, I believe that's what's giving me that little rattle, bro, because the sway bar end links, not only did I take them out, they weren't loose when I was, you know what I mean? going to take them out like they were they were in there secured with them zip ties so i'm not 100 percent sure you know what exactly it is what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get the car back up in the air tomorrow and i'm gonna try to go ahead and get some bolts into that plastic piece and see if that stops the noise because honestly y'all i can't hold y'all that noise is giving me PTSD. <laughs> like, it's taking me back to when I had the hoopty, man. You know what I'm saying? And this car is a 2021, bro. As y'all can see, it's got 44,000 miles on it. It's still relatively new, at least to me. So that being said, all of my cars, I love to keep them in pristine condition, man. So I'm always on top of the maintenance. That being said, man, I tightened up those oil pan bolts. I went ahead and brake cleaned the entire oil pan. Like I was telling you guys briefly, um, if this does continue, my next step is gonna be to completely drop the oil pan and just not cover, but I'm gonna apply some red Loctite to those bolts and just get them in there, torque to factory spec, and hopefully, 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 I don't have this issue anymore, man. But with all that being said, y'all, that's actually gonna wrap it up for today's vlog. If you guys enjoyed, please do your boy a favor. Hit that like button. 
consider subscribing and joining the ji squad we're on the road to 10k we're like 15 subs away from 7k so if you haven't already man hit that subscribe button man join the ji squad trust me you will not regret it we got bangers dropping left and right you know what i'm saying and this is only the beginning as y'all know we haven't seen too much racing action this year so winners around the corner and best believe since i'm running that e i will be out there yeah you know i'm saying so yeah that being said man i'm gonna go ahead close this video here i'm gonna roll that outro and i'll see y'all in the next one peace